this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a kind of a, another fun flower uh, with flat brushes once again using the 16 and the 10 and then I'm going to be using a clay ball maker uh, for a dotting tool. Paints I'm using are all folk art paints, enamels and multi-surface. I am using magenta, perfect purple, wicker white, thicket, and happy green. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. The first is the first part I'm going to do are, are the actual flower petals. One side in perfect purple, one side in the, the um, thicket, and then I'll just do a quick blending stroke. Now this one is just a real, like I said, a real easy, of course, design, but it's going to be a little hard for me with my, with my brush being so long. But you're just going to be on the chisel edge and you're just going to go back and forth just very quickly. Back and forth very quickly and I'm trying to leave a space if I can in between the actual flower petals. As I'm doing this. Now if you need to turn it around and actually add more to it because you want to make sure that it's opaque you can you know actually turn the bristles around and add more you know, add the white into it more to make it opaque all right so we're just gonna keep going here and I'm just put on my brush on the chisel edge just very quickly back and forth I can continue doing this And then if you want to slow it down a little bit, you can. It doesn't have to be quite as busy or fast, just to fill it in a little bit. And of course, you're just going to keep doing it and filling it in towards the center. Again, just going to keep going back and forth really quick. And then turn the brush around. Now, I don't care if the, the petals, if the petals are different sizes, that's fine. They don't have to be the same size. All right, I wanna make sure I'm on the camera here still. I'm gonna just keep it going. I can overlap a little bit into the next flower, or the previous flower, I should say, not the next one. Then come back and add some white. Have little smaller little petals or, or little parts of the petal coming to the side if you want but I like to try to leave a space and again I'm just going back and forth really fast it almost makes me feel like I'm I'm actually cleaning something instead of painting yeah like I said you can have a little bit coming out of the sides if you want that's shorter. And you could actually do this with more than just two colors too. That'd be kind of pretty. Here we go. It's all about quick and easy and fun. I can see people having having little painting parties. And then we'll do one last one down here. Again, trying to get it into into my space since I tend to go big 
I'm not sure why that is. I'll just keep going, going back and forth. It has a lot of white in it, so we'll add some more purple. And just keep moving the bottle around. That's one thing nice about painting on something that's movable. Instead of trying to do you know, your designs all one way, like if you're doing it on the wall, makes it a little bit harder if you, because you can't turn it. You have to learn how to paint with whatever direction your your item is, not being able to turn it if it's if it's stationary. Just keep putting more color in here. And then I'll turn it around, add some more color. A nice long little poles. All right. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is take my clay ball maker, stick the big side into a puddle of the magenta. And then I'm going to set it down in what I would perceive the center and just make a big dot for the center. You know, I'm trying to cover, you know, every open spot here so that makes sense. Quick and easy. Okay. And then the next thing I'm doing is doing the number eight flat brush. Of course, both sides of the green. And let's go into making our, our leaves. All right, so the, the leaves are going to be just your basic wiggle leaves. And I did pick up a little purple, but that's fine. And let's see here, I'm going to come over here. Now I might pick up more purple because I'm coming over the top of what I just painted, which is fine. If I don't want to pick up purple, then I need to give it some dry time. And that can be, you know, dealing with a hair dryer, heat gun, or just time. Time is is always an option. And I would say if you're going to give something some dry time, maybe an hour. And we'll come over here. I'm trying to make sure I'm still on. So I'm just putting it down and wiggling the brush. It's a fat, fast wiggle. And I'm leading with all of the colors going the same direction. I'm not trying to do any fancy. You know, one leaf is a different color on the outside than the other leaf. Just doing some basics. Just quick wiggles. And I'll pull it through here. And it's okay to have just one leaf. You don't have to have a ton. I do a lot of things in twos as far as the leaves go. As far as my flowers go, I like odd numbers. I'm not really sure why. Why that's different for me, but to each his own, right? Whatever floats your boat, do it. Go back over this guy because I feel like it got kind of dark there. But we'll go whoop, and whoop, like 
that. And I can go up in here. It just depends on how many how many leaves you really want to put on your design. If you're like me, I like a lot of leaves, so I probably will as I'm doing now. But if you're okay with this being open without a leaf, then leave it that way. And I'm not going to do a ton. I mean, as far as extra leaves, I'm just sticking with this style. And we'll be done. Very simple design and very quick. All right, I'm gonna stick with the one. One and done. All right, here you go. Again, just a very simple chisel edge of your brush and we're going back and forth, adding color and you have just a really quick, fun design. All right, hope you like this video. If you do, give me a big thumbs up. New to my channel, please subscribe, hit that notification bell. Prior to leaving, please feel free to share this video on your social network with your family and friends. I would greatly appreciate it. Just hit the share button you'll find underneath the video and you're good to go. All right, until the next time, please stay safe and healthy.